You might feel like it's getting boring that we always have to update and upgrade things. What can we do in Lightroom 4? Finally, we got to that point that I can talk about the basic features, the new features like highlights, shadows and whites. Now, for every, anyone who used previous versions of Lightroom, you might remember recovery fill light options, which is now turned into highlights and shadows. And we also have a bit different um, arrangement of these options, like contrast is just below exposure, and all the sliders are set in the middle. That helps us to work with Lightroom, because now whatever we move to the right, all of these options, the image will always be brighter, and if we move them to the left, it will be darker. So you can always start with exposure to change the global uh, exposure of the image, and then you can go to the next second most important option to change the contrast. So you can add or reduce the contrast a bit. In this case, I'm going to just simply add a bit of contrast. Again, just move it a bit to the right, and then I can work with highlights and shadows. So as I said, highlights is like recovery in the previous version. If I start to move this to the right, it will again brighten the image, but it will mainly work with the highlights. So if I move it down, it will uh, darken the highlights. If I move it up, it will brighten the highlights. If I click on the histogram panel, and we have a look at the histogram while we are changing the highlights, you can see that it will locally change only uh, the highlights, so the shadows and the midtones will almost stay the same and only the highlights will move, or mainly the highlights will move. So that is a really clever way to work with the photograph and it's actually better than in the previous versions. So you can also use shadows, it's very similar to fill light. So if I move it down it will darken the shadows, if I move it up it will brighten the shadows but without changing the highlights and midtones. So this is a really clever way to work with um, the photographs and something like this, I think, for these photographs will, uh, will work. And there's also another useful thing about these options that if you want to see uh, the clipping, highlight or shadow clipping, you can always click on these little triangles on the histogram or you can press J. So if you use these options and then you start making changes, you can see if you go a bit too far. For example, with exposure, we saw the highlight clipping. If I go down to the left, we will see shadow clipping. So right, uh, it's red or blue uh, warning signs. If you double click on a slider, it always jumps back to its original middle point. Apart from the highlights and shadows, there is another big improvement in the basic panel, and that is the clarity slider. It was in the previous versions as well, but now it is much better. And let me show you in the next video what I mean.